but it's true. At a comedy club, you should have the opener do 10, headliner comes on, and then the middle comes in for the wrap-up. Yeah. So the headliner can get his merch set up at the table, <laughs> bro. Are you a merch guy? <laughs> no, I can't. I mean, I do. I, I, I like to do the cast T-shirts by mail. Uh, it got to the point where I was giving Christmas gifts to the post office lady because I was bringing cast T-shirts. You would start seeing them out at the shows a lot. Oh, no. But yeah, uh, Pete was doing a full-blown operation at his house where he would uh, not only pack the shirts but go down to the post office and send. We we had no distribution center. Oh, Pete. <laughs> they even came with a little note, you know? Yeah. Yeah, a little note. You said cast T-shirts. Called the cast. This podcast is called the oh, cast. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah. Yes, that's what we call it. I thought it was called. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it's like, yeah, it's that little <laughs> rice paper background. Very classy. <laughs> Matches your shirt, sweetie. I love it. <laughs> it's so cool. <laughs> no, I, I, uh, I, I can't fucking do merch. Like, I don't You never know. had like a, a DVD for sale outside? No, I never had a DVD, I don't think, in my life. Or like, But a... I would do t shirts from the podcast. I would sell those. And then that lasted about a year. And I realized. I was exhausted because I never got to rest. Like in between the first and the second show, you just did an hour. Yeah. yeah. And then some, but I will say this, aside from the exhaustion or whatever, there was something about it that just, it wasn't. Mm, Don't feel good. Does it, it feels cheap. Cheap. It takes like away I was, from your image. I was just a god. Mm -hmm. And now I'm out there like, shirts? Yeah. Come oh, on, no. get your shirt. No, it's $22. Oh. I can't break that. So, That's the thing. You're and then everybody, change. you're making change. No. And everybody wants to fucking tell you stories. Like you should do jokes about my brother. He's got a mustache. <laughs> <laughs> and they're all talking real close. And the chicks are like, take a picture and like showing their flaps. And you're like, this is not gonna <laughs> age well. <laughs> and you're going, I'm out of smalls. I only got mediums now and XLs. So. Yeah, it's like something. It's like I don't I've know. Done, I've done it like one and week I've noticed, or two weekends. And... Yeah, it's, I didn't like it. I God. felt shitty, and I felt like. Then I let the end, the middle do it too. Oh, they don't want to outselling me. <laughs> oh, that wasn't my case at all. They didn't want to buy it. They just want to buy it from well, me. Well, he's, he's doing his last bit. Is his T-shirt? Oh, dangle. oh yeah, that you yeah, mean? Yeah, yeah. But I'll you be, notice they yeah. stay, they stay middles because they become, they yes. become vendors. I see this now That's all the true. time. Yeah, yeah. Like yeah. guys are obsessed with selling shirts and their merch, and it's gonna get there. It's like, yeah, but what are you saying on stage? Yeah. And I'm, I had Tim Ferriss on my podcast, and I was telling him how much I hated selling shirts. And he goes, then why do you do it? I go, because they want to, you know, they want to shake your hand and get to know you. That way they come back. And I'll never forget it. He goes, you don't, you don't think your act is enough to make them want to come back? All and right. I was like, mm. he goes, I mean, how bad do you want to be in the t-shirt business? Yeah. I was like, all right. Yeah, yeah. Tim Ferriss, four-day work week. Listen, <laughs> my on, on the on the sale, the, you don't sell it. What I used to do is I used to go in, pick a door guy give him a cut of the sales yeah. and he used to do it and then i used to stay away and just to talk to the people and I, I believe in making the connection with the people after the show shaking the hands taking a picture talking to them a little bit they feel like you know you know i always looked at it as like you're gonna come to my house gonna walk you to the door and say goodbye you know i'm not gonna just say eh, thanks for coming and, and that's the way i i i uh yeah. I, I approach these shows but i agree i did it once and i'm sitting there breaking hundreds and looking at that. I go, what the fuck am it I doing? It becomes a madhouse. Yeah, it's 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 oh, embarrassing. Because, and then people are just standing in their line to tell you something. God. Yeah. And, and you guys, just see twenty dollars over their yeah. shoulder. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, hoping you're gonna get yeah, and, exactly. and then you should walk away because it's too long to wait and you just lost the sale because You should sell shirts with the Chevron logo. <laughs> it's like what? Like, everybody's got a fucking oh, idea. It's like, can I just sit in the green room <laughs> yeah. and watch and bare knuckle boxing right. on the fucking whatever? <laughs> they never have, like, cable. They always got some weird satellite shit set up in the back. Oh, like, channel 6010 <laughs> is Chinese hockey. Right, right. <laughs> <laughs>